Hello everyone. The topic of for this lecture is uh, again on the consequences of the Second World War, but uh, we will be discussing a particular group uh, uh, in Australia who were affected by the Second World War. So during wartime, there is there are two concepts we need to remember that the enemy subjects or the people who belong to the enemy country um, can be under surveillance or they can be interned for an indefinite period. So internment means sort of going to the prison and um, serve there until the war is over. These are the pictures of uh, three women uh, who um, are Australians uh, of uh, Albanian background and uh, they um, sat for the interview. They participated in my research when I was doing my research uh, PhD doctoral thesis on uh, the Muslims in Australia. So my PhD thesis uh, um, covered the period from 1860 to 2002 and uh, so it's about 140 years of Muslim history in Australia, but it was within the framework of Australian immigration history. So what I tried to see, you know, how different groups of people settled in Australia during that period. And, um, and the focus was on the Muslims in Australia. So I looked into their settlement issues um, for my um, PhD thesis. So uh, the, these three women, uh, they um, were very, um, uh, very kind to um, participate in my study and they shared their um, experience during the Second World War. This gentleman, um, he also shared his experience during the Second um, World War. His name is uh, Sami Osman, and uh, he kindly agreed to participate in my um, research, and he shared his experience um, as an Albanian in Australia um, during the uh, Second World War. And at that time, he was in Melbourne. And the previous picture which I showed to you, it was uh, they, those people were settled in Queensland. So that is a different state. So Queensland is a state and again Melbourne is a, um, a city in the state of Victoria. So what is internment? Inter internment is defined as the arrest of an individual who could be taken into custody seemingly arbitrarily for an indefinite period without presentation in a court of law or a public hearing. During the Second World War, Italians, Albanians, Germans and the Japanese were incarcerated. They were put into prison in Australia because they belonged to the enemy country. Restrictions on enemy aliens during the Second World War followed the same pattern as in the First World War. This, that is, the immediate internment of all unnaturalized or the people who were not British subjects, as well as many Australian born and naturalized enemy subjects. So these days we know the term citizen, the Australian citizens. No, who the immigrants who become Australian citizens, they are known as Australian citizens. But uh, back in those days, uh, the citizens were known as the British subjects, uh, naturalized uh, people of, uh, or the name was, official name was British subjects. So during the Second World War, the people who belonged to the enemy country, for example, Germany um, and uh, Italy and Japan uh, were the enemy country of Great Britain, um, the allies or the allied power, Great Britain, France and Russia, later USA. So um, Australia was not directly involved, but then since it was an ally of Great Britain, um, so that's the reason Germany, um, it Germans, Italians and Japanese were considered as enemy aliens um, or the suspect uh, or uh, prospective suspect um, uh, in, in, in Australia. 
So um, Albania was not directly involved in the war, but when Italy conquered or occupied or invaded Albania during Second World War, so technically Albania became the enemy country of Australia. So the definition of enemy aliens, uh, employment of enemy aliens in the censorship or other government war departments was banned and naturalization was suspended for the duration of the period. The publication of enemy newspaper, magazines and pamphlets were prohibited and the schools and colleges of enemy aliens were shut down. So the specific regulations were promulgated under the National Security Act of 1939 to 1940 to implement internment arrangements. So enemy aliens were the, the people, the aliens as they were known, the, the people who were not citizens, their official term was uh, immigration official term or in the Im immigration office it was aliens or the British subjects who were citizens um, of Australia, but if they belonged to the enemy country, they were known as the enemy aliens. So Australia had a White Australia Policy or Immigration Restriction Act from 1901. That meant that colored people, say for example, the Afghans or the um, uh, other people um, uh, from Africa or from Asia, the colored people were not allowed to um, come to Australia because they wanted to keep the country white. So that is known as the unofficial term is White Australia Policy. So it was all political they, uh, and economic, uh, again racial factors were involved and that is why the White Australia period emerged and the White Australia period lasted from 1901 to 1973 um, and then it was uh, banned and the Australia introduced multicultural policy and that is the reason we are here, um, we are uh, Bangladeshi as well as uh, um, Australian citizens. Uh, so um, the multicultural policy allows people from diverse countries uh, to migrate to Australia. So coming back to the Albanian topic, Albanians were considered Europeans because they were from Europe and so they could migrate during the White Australia period. So Albanians had immigrated to Australia in the 1920s uh, because Australia required white settlers who were willing to dwell in remote and solitary surroundings and who have experience in agricultural and pastoral pursuits such as the Albanians possessed. The only Muslim ethnic group that experienced a major negative impact during the World War II were the Albanians in North Queensland. The Albanians during that time was about 770 people living in Queensland. So the immigration restrictions were imposed on these people because they were technically enemy aliens. As I said, when Italy occupied Albania in 1939, the United Kingdom recognized a limited degree of Albanian autonomy. The recognition was abandoned when the Albanian client government declared war on the allies, those that is Britain, France and, and Russia and later the United States. As a consequence, Albanian nationals in Australia were declared enemy aliens and in common with other similar people such as the Germans, restrictions were imposed on them the total number of aliens, um, or sorry, the total number of Albanians in Australia in 1942 was more than 1,000. So like the Italians, Albanians were also interned because of the possibility that they were fascist supporters. In some cases, gossips, hearsay, and even economic rivalry resulted in their internment. For example, if somebody um, told the security officials uh, that uh, the, these people, these Albanians were fascist supporter or the Mussolini's Italy supporter and that would raise concern to the or law enforcement uh, agencies in Australia and in, in, in that way, the, some innocent people were incarcerated, were 
taken into prison. So in my book chapter, which I have uh, uh, assigned for you to read uh, in box, so please go through it. And there are interviews from the uh, Albanians who suffered during the Second World War because they were treated as enemy aliens. Uh, in this, in this uh, um, lecture, um, uh, which I have uploaded it in box and currently speaking so that you can see uh, the interviews uh, um, about uh, f of some family members uh, uh, who were interned uh, the family members uh, faced uh, family separation psychological trauma because their family members were taken away uh, uh, for in, uh, 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 for incarceration, uh, the male members were taken away for incarceration, and so the family members, uh, um, the women, three women, I have shown you in the picture in this um, uh, lecture. So they shared their experience, and they were very worried um, uh, how their family members were who were taken away in incarceration. So the interview uh, shared with me how their uncle was interned and uh, how, what was the suffering of uh, the family suffering when her husband, uh, when her, sorry, when her uncle um, was incarcerated by the Australian law enforcement uh, sector. So the people or the Albanians in Queensland suffered the most. They were incarcerated and from state to state, um, the incarceration um, policy uh, differed. In Victoria, it was more of surveillance um, as Sami Osman, he recalled as his experience as an enemy alien. And he said that he had to report to the police station once a week. So he was kept under surveillance. So in Victoria, apparently the Albanians were not considered or treated uh, uh, per people of potential threat as they did with other aliens. Uh, other enemy aliens such as the Italian, uh, Italians and Germans. During wartime, the question of loyalty is very important. Um, so it becomes uh, very important uh, um, for the of, um, law enforcement sector um, to see whether the Albanians were loyal. And uh, so a uh, few Albanians were kept in the camp for a short time. They were released in 1942 when they stated that they fought against the Turks in Albania during the First World War and they owed allegiance to the British Empire. So, but anyway, they had to report to the police station once a week and the Queensland boys were also released when they had sufficient uh, or credible information uh, to show that they were loyal to the British Empire. Some Albanians also fought for the British Empire. Um, so they are recorded in the um, in uh, the archives. Uh, for example, the Albanians received fairly even-handed treatment both in internment and naturalization as British subjects because they belonged to a European race and their labor was needed. They did not pose any direct threat to the empire. A few Albanians were permitted um, to join the army. Archival records also reveal that Kurt Ali Rahman of the Australian infantry died in Papua New Guinea at the age of 35 in December 1941. Kurt Ali was buried in the Port Moresby Bomana War Cemetery in Papua New Guinea. So some Muslims like other colored people have been discriminated because of their race and color. However, their military service in the war had put them in equal fitting, footing with ordinary Australians. Islam was never a criteria of uh, discrimination during the World War I. Um, so when we dis discuss the topic of uh, Muslims in Australia or the immigration history of Australia later in our lectures, we will find that religion was not a criterion of dis discrimination um, in Australia. 
before the 9-11, before the September 11, 2001 terrorist attack in New York and uh, Pennsylvania, Muslims were uh, discriminated not because of their religion uh, in, the, in the historical period. It was because sometimes they were discriminated because they were colored people. So color was, uh, um, or the race was the criteria of discrimination uh, in the historical period. So that's all for today. Thank you.